Bad, or the Dumbing of America, by Paul Fussell, a Literary Analysis. Paul Fussell's essay, Bad, or the Dumbing of America, published in 1991, is a scathing critique of the decline in language and culture in contemporary America. Fussell, a prominent literary critic and historian, delves into the ways in which American society has embraced mediocrity and ineptitude in various facets of life, particularly in language and communication. Through his astute observations and eloquent prose, Fussell paints a vivid picture of what he perceives as a troubling shift in the American intellectual landscape. Fussell's central argument revolves around the concept of badness, which he describes as a pervasive and insidious force that has infiltrated American culture. He suggests that the quality of language and communication has significantly deteriorated, leading to a lack of precision and clarity in everyday discourse. Fussell laments the growing prevalence of colloquialisms, clichés, and slang, which he views as symptoms of intellectual laziness. He believes that this linguistic deterioration reflects a broader trend of anti-intellectualism in America. Fussell's critical perspective on language is grounded in his belief that clear, precise, and thoughtful expression is fundamental to intellectual and cultural growth. He asserts that the misuse of language, including grammatical errors, mispronunciations, and vague expressions, undermines the foundations of rational discourse. Fussell's lament is not merely about linguistic pedantry but about a more profound concern, the erosion of critical thinking and intellectual rigor in American society. One of Fussell's central claims is that Americans have grown increasingly averse to intellectual challenges. He attributes this to a societal preference for comfort, convenience, and simplicity. Fussell argues that a dumbed-down language, characterized by shortcuts and imprecision, reflects a broader unwillingness to engage with complex ideas or confront uncomfortable truths. In his view, this trend is reinforced by the media, which often prioritizes entertainment over informative and substantive content. Furthermore, Fussell criticizes the educational system for its role in perpetuating linguistic decline. He asserts that schools have abandoned their traditional role as bastions of intellectual rigor in favor of catering to the lowest common denominator. Standardized tests, he argues, have become exercises in linguistic mediocrity, promoting the idea that one need not aspire to linguistic excellence to succeed in life. He also bemoans the growing popularity of how-to books, which, he contends, contribute to a culture that values practicality over intellectual curiosity. In addition to language, Fussell discusses the decline of intellectual pursuits, such as reading, as symptomatic of the badness he criticizes. He laments that contemporary culture is increasingly characterized by a preference for short, easy-to-digest content. According to Fussell, a culture that celebrates instant gratification and immediate consumption inevitably devalues depth, complexity, and nuance in thought and expression. Fussell's critique extends to the realm of politics and public discourse. He argues that the language used in political campaigns and debates has become increasingly manipulative, relying on vague promises, emotional appeals, and sensationalism rather than rational argumentation in substantive policy discussions. He sees this as a reflection of a culture that prioritizes image over substance and one-liners over in-depth analysis. While Fussell's essay is undeniably critical, it is not devoid of hope. He believes that the decline he describes is reversible, provided that individuals, educators, and society at large recognize the importance of clear and precise language. He suggests that a renewed commitment to intellectual excellence and a rejection of intellectual laziness can help reverse the trend of badness in America. In conclusion, Paul Fussell's Bad, or the Dumbing of America, 
is a passionate and thought-provoking critique of the decline in language and culture in contemporary America. Fussell's analysis delves deep into the root causes of what he terms badness in language, education, media, and politics. While his perspective may be seen as harsh, it serves as a call to action for those who value intellectual rigor, clarity, and the pursuit of excellence in communication. Fussell's essay challenges readers to confront the linguistic and cultural decline he highlights and consider the role each individual plays in countering this worrisome trend.